from your perspective, it sounds like you were mentioning there that a job hasn't been created since February last year, a full time job in the US. Uh, can you maybe go into that further? And I guess what what do you expect then in the next in the coming months for do you think for further job losses? Well, so we were um, in 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 May, excuse me, in April of 2021. I guess uh, we were are we, we were already having this. Uh, we were, I think, at 10 percent. 10 plus percent year over year growth in full-time jobs. And we've now slowed to 0.6, a 0.6% rate year over year as of uh, as of the, the January data release. If you look back to December, 2007, and that was the first month of the great recession, the recession that accompanied the fall of Lehman Brothers, uh, the rate of growth of full-time jobs at the time was 0.7%. So a 10th higher than where we are today. A lot of people blame the weather. It really wasn't a weather thing. We, we went back and looked at the history to the 1970s and there wasn't anything extraordinary about this last January, even though it, it was cold. We did see a collapse in the work week. That's never a good sign. If, if the decline in the number of hours worked was to be equated to the number of jobs lost simply because of the income that was foregone because hours were cut to the extent that they were, we would have seen a print of negative 550,000. So again, um, the headlines right now are extraordinarily deceiving and other indicators such as the ADP, which we know does not necessarily predict non-farm payrolls, but we know that that 107,000 jobs created in the month of January was a pretty low number. And that by the same token, there were 103,000, more than 103,000 jobs that were uh, job cut announcements in the month of, of January that went to go offset that. So again, a lot of cross currents, um, continuing claims just surpassed the level where they were in 2019 prior to the onset of recession. They're just about at 2 million and they refuse to come down. They're very stubbornly high. Uh, so too many signposts for us to count. There was a, a, a very big services report that came out with ISM services for the month of January. Again, peel back one layer of the onion and you see that in November, there were 10 industries that were growing employment. In December, that had gone down to seven of the 18 industries tracked by the ISM that were growing employment. And that has now hit three of the 18 industries in the month of January that are still creating jobs, meaning 15 of the 18 are not. So uh, we're seeing some very rapidly changing dynamics. But again, everybody got excited because there was a pop in new orders. Um, exports within services went up. What does that mean exactly? That means that a lot of foreigners came to school in the United States and a lot of foreign tourists um, came to our shores in the month of January. So a lot of moving pieces, but the underlying dynamic of seven uh, of, of 10 to seven to three industries growing their headcount is not a good sign.